Got the margarita style mango chili truly today. That's actually good. That's actually really damn good. I mean, if you if you don't know, I bought a new Truly pack, margarita style, and I'm trying all the flavors to let you guys know if they're good or not. If you saw my Thor 4 video, you'd know I'm trying all these, but I mean, of course you do. You've seen all my videos. I'm just kidding. But that's actually really damn good. But anyways, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna be watching Game of Thrones. Season seven, episode three. Now, last episode. The ending hurt. Bro, <laughs> that ending hurt so bad. What the, what the hell, Theon? What the hell, dude? I thought Theon was about to have this really cool moment where it's like, like truly he was gonna break free of, you know, him being Reek. You know, this was his breaking point to where Reek was no longer gonna even be in him anymore, you know? He was finally gonna separate from identifying as Reek. But no, no, <laughs> no, bro, no. You already died. All right. All right, Pete. That's tough. That's so tough, dude. <sighs> well, now I imagine... And they left Theon alive, so I imagine he's somehow going to get back to, you know, uh, Daenerys and be like, yo, we got a small problem. Kind of a big problem, not going to lie. So, I imagine something like that's going to happen. Also, Jon decided he's going to go to Dragonstone, not only for the dragon glass that sam got he, he finally got sam's raven that there's a shit ton of dragon glass in dragonstone he was originally gonna go for that but now he's gonna go to meet Daenerys too because she sent him a raven saying like yo john i want to meet you it's link you know so he's like bet and everyone's like no nah, bro you can't you don't know what the targaryens did to us a couple years ago or whatever a couple decades ago and john's like no nah, bro i'm i'm him i'm him i'll be fine <laughs> So anyways, I'm gonna stop wasting time. We're just gonna hop right into this episode. If you'd like to watch the full length reaction, that will be available on Patreon as well. Early access to the next two episodes of Game of Thrones will also be available on Patreon. So let's get started. Oh no, it's John! John's here! Oh my god! He's already here? Damn! That was fast. Okay, season seven has a way faster pace. Oh my god. Bastard of Winterfell. Oh, not mm -hmm. anymore. You were pissing off the edge, if I remember right. I do. Picked up some scars along the road. It's been a long road, but mm -hmm. we're both still here. Oh, yeah. Facts. Ah, you're on your night. Ah, it's so good to see the meat of Devil Centurion. If you wouldn't mind handing over your weapons. Oh. I mean, it does seem sus. Of course. But, of course, Sean's going to do it because he's a humble man. But it just seems super sus. Oh my god, what are you doing with that? This place has changed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Sir Devis was here in Dragonstone with Stannis. And Sansa. I hear she's alive and well. She is. Oh, this damn bridge. She's much smarter than she lets on. She's starting to let on. At some point, I want to hear how a Night's Watch recruit became king in the north. Tell me how a Lannister became hand to Daenerys Targaryen. Yeah, it's they're both 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 their stories are crazy. I was drunk for most of it. <laughs> General rule of thumb. Stark men don't fare well when they travel south. Nope. But I'm not a Stark. <gasps> yeah, he's a snow. Oh, well, shit, that's a dragon. I'd say you get used to them. Yeah, uh, he's not used to that. Oh, uh, John's tripping right now. Come. It's like, well, what the? This bitch really does have dragons. <gasps> Millisad, bro, they're gonna be so fr Dude, oh, yeah, Sir Devos, be so pressed. I wondered pressed. why you weren't there to meet our guest. Yeah, I wonder why too. Begged us to summon the king in the north. Don't you want to see him again? No. I've done my part. I've brought ice and fire together. It's true. My time whispering in the ears of kings has come to an end. Yeah, she doesn't want them to know that they literally told her to fuck off. I did not part on good terms with the king in the north, or his advisor. No. Nope. Why? Uh. <laughs> because of mistakes I made. Okay, at least she can admit to it. Terrible mistakes. Yeah. I would only be a distraction if I stayed. Okay. So where would you go? I respect it. You should return to Westeros. I'm not sure you'd be safe here. Oh, I will return, dear spider. <laughs> One last time. My lady. I have to die in this strange country, just like you. Hmm. <laughs> oh, he's tripping. Oh, is this okay? Is this the Ironborn, the last of them? I mean, it's a blue and yellow flag. Like Theon and who survived. 
I don't know. Stand in the presence of Daenerys Stormborn of House Targaryen. <laughs> Lisi of the Great Grass Sea, the Unburnt, the Breaker of Chains. She is her. This is Jon Snow. Jon's so nervous. He's king of the north. <laughs> Sir Davos does not have a speech like that either. <laughs> prepared. <laughs> John, Sir Davos does have a title like that prepared for him. But I could have sworn I read the last king in the north was Torrin Stark. Mm -hmm. Who bent the knee to my ancestor, Aegon Targaryen. Yeah, and you know, you know what happened? But still, an oath is an oath. Mm -hmm. And perpetuity means... What does perpetuity mean, Lord Tyrion? Yeah, what does it mean? I don't know. Okay, forever. So I assume, my lord, you're here to bend the knee. Dude, why is she being kind of, like, rude about it? I am not. Like, oh, we're not. No. No. You've traveled all this way to break faith with House Targaryen? Break he's faith? He's gonna propose something better. Your father burned my grandfather alive. He burned yeah. my uncle alive. Yeah, John, he press her. My father was an evil man. I ask your forgiveness for the crimes he committed against your family. Hmm. And I ask you not to judge a daughter by the sins of her father. Our two houses were allies for centuries. And those were the best centuries the Seven Kingdoms have ever known. It's true. With a Targaryen sitting on the Iron Throne and a Stark serving as Warden of the North. Oh, it's bad for everyone. Honor the pledge your ancestor made to mine. Bend the knee and I will name you Warden of the North. Mm -hmm. Together, we will save this country from those who would destroy it. John will do it. He's going to do it. You're right, because I need your help and you need mine. Yep. I'm not going to bend my knee to you, but we're going to have a mutual agreement here. A mutual alliance. You could storm King's Landing tomorrow and the city would fall. But you haven't stormed King's Landing. Why not? Does she know about Ironborn? You don't want to kill thousands of innocent people. At the very least, you're better than Cersei. Call me queen. He's refused to bow and now he's calling me a child. Your grace, everyone you know will die before winter's over if you yeah. don't defeat the enemy to the north. As far as I can yeah. see, you are the enemy. No, no, up north, up north, more north. The dead are the enemy. Mm -hmm. The dead. She had no idea. I was born at Dragonstone. <sighs> Robert was your father's best friend, no? No, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> father knew his best friend sent assassins to murder a baby girl in oh, her crib. He was against it. Do you know what kept me standing through all uh, those years in exile? Iron Throne. Faith. Yep, faith to the Iron Throne. Not in any gods. Faith in myself. Because no, no. I'm her. In myself. Mm-hmm. Across the sea. Any sea. They did for me. I was born to rule the Seven Kingdoms. Yeah, she has a lot of reasons to be really confident. <laughs> She's been through a lot. You'll be rolling over a graveyard. Yeah. You won't defeat the Night King. Yeah, that's priority one. The war against my sister has already begun. No. I don't expect us to halt hostilities and join you in fighting whatever you saw beyond the wall. I mean, it's valid. Search is going to dig mm -hmm. us if we do that. He is the first to make allies of wildlings and Northmen. Mm -hmm. he, he was named King in the North. Not because of his birthright. He has no birthright. He's a damn bastard. Mm -hmm. All those hard sons of bitches chose him as their leader. Because he's him. <laughs> Because they believe in him, good of his people. He risked his life for his people. He took a knife in the heart for his people. He gave his mm -hmm. own... Oh, you can't tell her about that. You can't tell her about that. It doesn't matter. Then you might as well kneel. Swear your allegiance. <sighs> Help her to defeat my sister, and together our armies will protect the North. There's no time. Yeah, we don't have time to defeat no time. Cersei first. To bend the knee. Oh my God. Pledge your sword to her cause. And why would I do that? Yeah, John's gonna, yeah, John will do it, but he's not going to do it so easily. I mean, no offense, your grace, but I don't know you. <laughs> Father's name and my own father fought to overthrow the Mad King. Mm -hmm. There's some there's some beef, yeah, Hello. some past beef. And I will continue to do so as well as I can. That's fair. Hmm? By declaring yourself king of hmm. the northernmost kingdom, you are in open rebellion. Shut up. Oh, Barry's is coming to save the day. He's coming to save the day. Okay. Oh, he's telling her some shit. I have grave news. Oh, he's telling her some shit. Both be tired after your long journey. 
We'll have baths drawn for you and supper sent to your rooms. Bro, why would I stay here if you just said we're we're in an open rebellion? What the fuck? I'm dipping. <laughs> Am I your prisoner? Hmm. Maybe not let us leave. She might not let us leave. Not yet. Hmm. Guess we're not allowed to leave. All right. Our Ironborn and Dornish allies were attacked en route to Dawn. Hmm. Okay. Two or three ships escaped. The rest sunk or captured. To the Greyjoys dead or captured. Yeah. Yep. <sighs> no, they got Theon. No. They. Oh my God. They got him, dude. Are they just gonna torture? Are they just gonna torture him again? Like, Rain? come on. Wait, who the fuck is this? I thought that was Euron. What the fuck? You got away. I couldn't save her. Hmm. I tried. You didn't. <laughs> You wouldn't be here if you tried. Yeah, exactly. That's what I said in the last episode in the outro. If he tried to do something, he probably would have died. All right, I guess it's just like the Ironborn that we're cool with. All right. Uh, oh, wait, they didn't kill Yara. What the fuck? I swear that was her hanging. Okay. Then who was hanging? What? I don't know. To be fair, like, I kind of based it on her outfit. You know, shut off. <laughs> but all right, she's not dead yet, but that, she's just gonna die again. Oh, all right. Okay, but going back to like Daenerys and Jon, I mean, <sighs> see like Daenerys, like she's worked really hard to get where she was. Don't get me wrong. But at the same time, it's a little annoying how aggressive she's being to Jon to bend the knee, you know, like, She's super entitled to it because it's like her birthright and also she's worked really damn hard to get here So I'm not trying to discredit her or anything. But I don't know. It kind of rubs me the wrong way like How aggressive she's being towards John about it, you know, but I mean I kind of get she has to be you know She has to impose her will on them or they, they never will they'll never accept it like You know and John's not really looking to bend the knee to her. He's looking for it seems like he's looking for a mutual Alliance to defeat the Night King first So cuz like I'm yeah, I'm sure John doesn't want to Because I'm pretty sure if he bends the knee that doesn't make him king of the north anymore. That just makes him warrior of the north Correct me if I'm wrong But for he's I he's not trying to bend the knee to her to submit to her because it will make him look bad in front of his people And he would lose his entire He would lose all the people in the north You deserve more than a true friend shut the fuck up. Okay reward for your heroism oh is she gonna suck him off what your heart desires she's not marrying you bro actually she... when the war is won oh okay yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. when the war is won i'll marry you <laughs> okay classic cersei move and jamie lannister leading our armies i'm just gonna lead him on hell hard <laughs> probably pray he dies at the like end of the war once we basically like 99 percent there to win okay he better die now so i don't have to actually marry him Probably have Jamie kill him. Probably have someone kill him. But anyway. But yeah, but John would probably lose everyone that supports him in the north if he did bend the knee, so he's not trying to immediately. And plus, he's really just trying to defeat this goddamn Night King. Like, he's right. If we try and fight Cersei first, it's gonna waste too much time. And then we're fucked. So, it's a tricky situation. Because Cersei, she's a little bug, you know? She's a little insect. She's not gonna go away. I'm like this right here. She's she's building something, you know. I can hear the sound of Oberyn's skull break. <laughs> the sound of your scream. <sighs> I never heard a sound like that. Yeah, her scream was was intense. I can remember it in my head too. Even Sir Gregor couldn't stop him. If only he hadn't taunted him. Yeah. But that wasn't your lover's way, was it? Now he's buried somewhere. It's tough. Mm -hmm. Tough scene. You can't imagine how that feels unless you've lost a child. Mm hmm. She was mine, and you took her from me. Why did you do that? You gotta take this out of my mouth so I can talk. Doesn't matter now. Mm. Watch, Cersei's so gonna have just Sir Gregor squish her head like he did the Oberyn. What if she has Sir Gregor do it to her daughter first, so she could wa She has to watch. Watch her daughter die the same way Oberyn did? That'd be so tough. I'm sorry, I can't understand you. Okay, you're, being, you're just being a bitch about it, all right. Dang, it must be frustrating. I could talk with that in my mouth, I feel like. You chose to murder my daughter. <laughs> I lie in bed and I stare at the canopy and imagine ways of killing my enemies. 
I thought about having Sir Gregor crush your skull the way he did Oberyn's. Oh! Poetic, I suppose, but fast. Too fast. Yeah, too fast. Too, it's mercy at that point. Having him crush your daughter's skull. Oh, bro, I said that. But, damn, me and Cersei really do think alike. No, it's just not right. It's not painful enough. Oh, no, she, yeah, she kissed her to give her the same poison. And so she just, yep, yeah, killed her daughter the same way she killed Marcella. If you refuse to eat the false food down your throat, to watch your daughter rot. That's sadistic, dude. That's so sadistic. The bone and dust. Wow. All the while contemplating the choices you've made. Wow, that's how long Cersei's gonna keep her in here for. Until her daughter dies and just becomes bones and dust. Becomes a skeleton. That's so fucked up. Dude, I I respect it though. I'm not even gonna lie. I respect it. <laughs> Oh, uh, they're so close. Yeah. If I was her, I'd be like, yo, spit in my mouth so I die too. Like, please. I don't want to rot in here. But they're too far away. They can't. And they have the, yeah, they have the, the cloth in their mouth. So they can't even spit in their mouth. So. Damn, Jamie's getting kind of old. It's aging very well, though. No one can see us like this. I am the queen of the seven kingdoms. Oh, she doesn't give a fuck anymore. And congratulations. Become the first ruling queen of the Seven Kingdoms. That's quite an accomplishment. Wait, he just said he was, she was the first queen to rule the Iron King to rule the kingdoms. So Rhaenyra doesn't do it. All right, cool. We both know gold wins wars. Your vaults are empty. Your late mm -hmm. husband's profligacy saw to that. You're broke. The wealthiest allies, the Tyrells, are now your enemies. You are surrounded on all sides by rivals for the throne. Yeah, you're you're not getting a fucking loan, buddy. Ever's we deem likely to be successful. A fancy way of saying bet. Bet. <laughs> your own Greyjoy is loyal to me. For now. Mm-hmm. Dragons. How well do wooden ships fare against fire-breathing dragons? Her eh. dragons might not be as invulnerable as some. Bro, that harpoon's not doing shit. <laughs> I'm guessing the Iron Bank invested considerable gold in the slave trade. How are your profits? Mm -hmm. she, she shut that down. Yep. The Lannisters owe the Iron Bank quite a lot of money, but Lannisters always pay their debts. Bro, obviously not if we owe them money. Nice view. You look a lot better brooding than I do. You make me feel like I'm failing at brooding over failing. Well, Tyrion's gonna talk him in the knee. I wouldn't say we took your ship. I'm not playing word games with you. The dead are coming for us all. Mm-hmm. If someone told me about the White Walkers and the Night King... It'd be hard to believe. You probably don't believe me. It's like, I feel like Tyrion's like 50... Oh, he does. I was about to say he's like 50-50, but... It was nonsense. Everybody knew it. Then Mormont saw them. Mm -hmm. I trust the eyes of an honest man more than I trust what everybody knows. But an enemy they don't believe in is coming to kill them all. It's almost a relief to confront a comfortable, familiar monster like my sister. <laughs> I need to help prepare my people for what's coming. I can't help them from here. Yeah, I gotta go back. I'd like to leave. It seems unlikely that you became king in the north by giving up that easily. To learn from my father's mistakes. Don't go south. Don't answer a summons from the Mad King's daughter, a foreign invader. And here I am, a northern fool. Children are not their fathers. Luckily for all of us. It's gonna work out for you, I know it. She didn't. Mm -hmm. Instead, she stayed where she was and saved many people from horrible fate. Yep. For our guest here, you might consider asking them what they think of the Mad King's daughter. Yeah. Take a vouch for her. She's not about to head north to fight an enemy she's never seen on the word of... Yeah, I mean, I get that from her perspective. Like, they don't know what the... Ma they don't know if it's real or not, you know? Daenerys has been on this mission since day one. It's a lot for Jon to ask. For. It's a lot from both sides, honestly, dude. Do you have anything reasonable to ask? Maybe you are a northern fool. I'm asking if there's something I can do to help you. Dragonglass. Yes. Yes. We just lost two of our allies. Which is why I was speaking to Jon Snow, a potential ally. Mm -hmm. What does the king in the north want with Dragonglass? <laughs> don't fight the fucking white... <laughs> to fight the white walkers. Or stop them. Mm -hmm. What do you think about this army of the dead and white walkers? Mm. I'd very much like to believe that Jon Snow is wrong. But I don't. As man once said, that you should never believe a thing simply because you want to believe it. 
Which wise man said this? Me. I don't remember. Are you trying to present your own statements as ancient wisdom? Yeah. I would never do that. You have done it. To you. Oh, to you. Hmm. The reason I believe Jon Snow is because he's here. All of his advisors would have told him not to come. All yeah. Told him not to come. But here anyway. That's what you know is he's not capping. If he's wrong, it's worthless. You didn't even know it was here. Yeah. It's nothing to you. Yeah, she shouldn't care. What was that Sir Davos said? About taking oh, a knife yeah. in the heart for his yeah. people. He's like, yeah. She's gonna ask him about that. He's like, he's gonna be like, yeah, I fucking died. <laughs> and then this crazy redhead lady brought me back to life. And then Daenerys would be like, bro, I know who you're talking about. She just came through. And Jon's gonna be like, what? I named them for my brothers, Viserys and Rhaegar. Oh. They're both gone now. Fuck Viserys. He enjoys talking. We all enjoy what we're good at. No, I don't. Fighting for John. That you would. And I haven't changed my mind about which kingdoms belong to that throne. I haven't either. Yeah, John's ready to bend the knee. He just wants to make sure that she will help him defeat the Night King. And it has to happen first because it's a priority. Any resources or men you need, I will provide. Mm. So you believe me then about the Night King and the Army of the Dead? No, but we'll see. That was really thoughtful of her. That was really nice. See, guys, it's slowly happening. It's slowly gonna happen. They're gonna become besties. I know it. I already know it. Wagon loads of grain with them. Very wise, my lady. Mr. Walken, you must be to it. Damn. Sansa's running shit. Love to see it, Sansa. Command suits you. Yep. I know Cersei better than anyone here. I only meant to say... That the woman who murdered my mother, father, and brother is dangerous. <laughs> One of two things will happen. The dead will defeat the living, in which case... We die. All our troubles come to an end. <laughs> or life will win out. And what then? Then we gotta fight Cersei. Little everywhere, always. In your mind. Mm -hmm. Everyone is your enemy. Yeah. Everything that happens will be something that you've seen before. Damn, Vale is dropping some gems right here. Dropping some wisdom. He's not I don't think he's wrong. I th that might have been genuine information, you know? Genuine advice. Oh, it's Bran! <laughs> Sup? <laughs> Damn, they made it. What's good? What's popping? <laughs> Damn. I need to speak to him. Yeah, I have some very important information for, for him. Very specific information. Your father's last living treeborn son. You're Lord of Winterfell now. I can never be Lord of anything. Hmm. I'm the three-eyed raven. Yeah, that's true too. I don't know what that means. Everything that's happening right now. It's all pieces now. Fragments. When the long night comes again. I need to be ready. Damn, Bran looks old as fuck again. The three-eyed raven taught me. Yeah, bro, I've been it's through some shit. It was so beautiful that night. And you were so beautiful. Okay, stop hitting on her. She's your sister, dog. In your white wedding dress. Oh, he saw her her wedding and everything. I have to go back inside, Bran. Yeah, don't fucking remind her of that day, bro. I'll stay a bit longer. Bro, Bran's kind of a fucking weirdo, dude. <laughs> yeah, bro, giving her PTSD. Come on, that's not cool. That's fucked up. Mm. Oh, just draw her. <laughs> oh, fuck. Bro, he's good. We ripped that shit off. It's good. Mm. It's good. He's cured. I mean, technically, can I just grow back? Does it hurt? Oh, extremely. The infection no longer appears to be active. But. And the climate. The climate. Covering for Sam. Bro, this. <laughs> oh, but, okay. He did for the infectious. Which you are no longer. I, I feel like he knows him. Speak with you in my study this evening. Yeah, he knows Sam did it, bro. He knows. He's he. I feel, he's gonna respect it though. Daenerys Stormborn convinced me otherwise. Mm -hmm. The only place going back to her. Wait, does he know she's in Dragonstone now? Does he know she dipped? She left. Mm -hmm. We'll find out. He father saved me more than once. It's the least I could do. Hell yeah. Perhaps our paths will cross again. Me too. I really hope they do. No, nah, just to be safe, I would not do that. 
Oh. Bro, what did I say I'm gay? Oh, Detour, why would you? I mean, uh, I wouldn't have just to be safe, you know? But, I guess he's fine. I guess, like, him putting his second hand on top <laughs> shows how much confidence Jordan has that it worked. Who told you to treat him? Me, bro. Me. Devastated the entire Citadel. But you didn't. Yep. The maesters whose chains are heavy with healing links have attempted it and failed. Yeah, so Sam's different. Sam's built different. I read the book and followed the instructions. Yeah, the difference is Sam can actually read. <laughs> Thank you, Archmaester. Sam's going to be the best maester to ever live. These manuscripts and scrolls are rotting away. I need you to make copies of them. Oh, it's going to take fucking forever. You were expecting a reward. <laughs> Your reward is not being immediately expelled from the Citadel. Alright, that's fair, that's valid. We need to find Euron Greyjoy's fleet and sink it. Yes. Mm -hmm. To send our remaining ships after him. I'm not talking no. about sending our ships after Send John after him. Would you have to go yourself? Be flying around the open seas alone for who knows how long. I wouldn't be alone. I'd bring my dragons. Rogon, Viserion, and Rhaegal. Yeah. Mm. Due to them, they can still do something to you. Yeah. What about Castle Rock? The unsullied will be there. Oh, yeah, they're still they're, they're still doing that. A difficult situation. Leaves my sole purpose in life is to destroy House Lannister. She will be ready. Yep. They will see us coming. Hell yeah, Grey Worm. I believe in you. They will be ready. Damn, this is Castle Rock. I don't think we've ever seen it. Probably have. I, I'm just forgetting. But this definitely looks like something, I don't know, this looks different. Bro, this is what the Insolid is made for. This is what they excel at. Isn't it? Damn. As long as Graham doesn't die. He built our house up from near ruin. He built our army. Yeah, well, yeah. Tyrion's probably getting all the weaknesses of it. Mm. So he gave the job to the lowest person he could find. Me. Me. <laughs> Building the sewers, I... Threw in something for myself. Oh, wow. That began in an out-of-the-way cove by the <laughs> sea and ended beneath one of the main guard towers. Damn, brings his brings his studers through here. Wow. Give me ten good men, and I'll impregnate the bitch. Who said that? I mean, it's good. It's a good saying for this. Yeah. <laughs> Because literally, we had ten good men infiltrate, open the gates, and we came down their throats. Armies fight for her out of fear. <laughs> the Unsullied will be fighting for something great. Exactly. Fighting for freedom and the person. They have they have greater motivation. Yeah, it's not because they fear you, because they want to. Mm -hmm. Oh. There's supposed to be more than this. Hmm. Many more. Oh no. We got flanked. <gasps> oh. Mm. Fuck. Yes, yeah, Cersei was ready. Not Jamie and Braun. Oh, he got that fool. We got Sam's dad. God damn it. Oh, no. Oh no, this is the Tyrells. No, Olen is dead. Olen is dead. Oh, that's so tough. She's just kicking it in here. It's done. Are you gonna kill me now? Or are you gonna bring me to Cersei? Did we fight well? No. Be defending Casterly Rock. Fond childhood memories won't keep Cersei on the throne. Yeah. So you just let True. them take it. Fuck it. You and Greyjoy's navy burned their ship. Yep. And went where they weren't. As Rob Stark did to me at Whispering Wood. Yeah, that's right. Why didn't he take High Garden the moment your gold mines ran dry? I suppose I'll be able to ask him myself soon enough. No. That was Joffrey's sword, wasn't it? Not that he ever used it. <laughs> Widow's Whale. He really was a cunt. Yes. Unspeakable things to protect my family or watch them being done on my orders. Mm hmm. I never lost a night's sleep over. They were necessary. Yep. You poor fool. Yeah. 
she'll be the end of you. She probably will be. If she's driven you this far, it's gone beyond your control. Yes. She's a disease. <laughs> yes. How will it happen? Cersei had several ideas. Whipping you through the streets and beheading you in front of the Red King. Oh, just cut my head off right here, please. Life and hanging you from the walls of King's Landing. Jesus. I talked her out of those. Oh, thank you. Oh, okay. Well, that's... That's merciful, I guess. Will there be pain? No. I made sure of that. Aw, so sweet, Jamie. Oh, she... Fuck it. <laughs> Damn, that's so tough. I'd hate to die like your son. A shocking scene. Not at all what I intend. Bro, he might just cut your head off if you keep talking. Tell Cersei. Hmm. <laughs> I wanted to know it was me. <laughs> yep. <laughs> That's fucked up. <sighs> yeah, J Jamie's a better man now. Just walked away from that. Hey, that's the most savage thing Elena could have possibly have done. Let Cersei know. Jamie probably wishes now. Oh well, no, not Jamie, but Cer <sighs> if he does tell her, she's gonna be like, Jamie, you should have just let me flayed her and whipped her through the streets or whatever. You know, like that. Jamie was probably in infuriated by that but you know he's a righteous man now he's a better man just walks away love to see it well i would say things aren't looking so hot for for uh denarius right now it's really leaning towards cersei right now the, the the scale has shifted it is in cersei's favor now favor but we need to bring it back to here oh but this was never on oh my god so danny <clears throat> lost two of her allies she lost the tyrells and the ironborn okay that's a bit of an issue so she's kind of desperate to make john her ally you know but then again they're not just gonna become allies like that you know it's like it's a little bit of a complication between them you know they both pose a threat on both of their claims you know so it's kind of like neither of them are gonna are gonna submit to each other right away <sighs> it's a bit complicated i feel like neither i feel like john won't end up bending the knee to her they'll just be like they'll just have they'll just be mutual allies you know they'll just respect each other enough because they both need each other and they'll just respect their claims, you know? I get that Daenerys wants to rule the, sen the Seven Kingdoms, and the North is one of those. So, like, hey, she can have the other six. It's all good. But then it, but then again, Jon's fighting to get her to help him with the, the Night King, which is very valid. But then again, they don't know. She has no idea about any of that. And so she was like, you know what? Mind, your, mind the dragon glass. I don't give a shit about it. It's worthless to me anyway. All right, whatever. Tyrion talked her into that, so that was nice. You know, and like, Jon didn't come all this way if it, if it truly was for nothing. So it's like, okay, it's valid. So she kind of believes him, but she wants to see what he's gonna end up doing. So, okay, okay. It's a, it's a little bit of a process. It's a waiting game here. Like, yeah, John's not gonna bend the knee to her immediately because then he'll lose respect from everyone in the North and everything like that, I feel like. So, and honestly, dude, I don't I don't want John to bend the knee to her. Like, I mean, I wouldn't mind if he did, but then again, I like, I like, I love how he stood up for himself and he pressed her a little bit, being like, no, bro, like, there's bigger shit going on. Like, you just, like, we need each other, okay? You need me to defeat Cersei, and I need you to defeat the Night King. That's the only way both of us are going to live. Either way, if you don't help me defeat the Night King, you're good, a skeleton's gonna be on the Iron Throne, so... You're gonna rule over no one. There's no one. No one's gonna be left alive. Not even you. Like we have to beat them before they get past the wall. If they get past the wall, we're fucked. So yeah, I respect. So mad respect to John for you know standing his ground on that. And yeah, he's not gonna bend the knee without knowing for sure if she's gonna. Without knowing if she'll actually come through and do it or not. So okay, yeah. Because like, yeah, they don't know each other. They just met each other. They got there's, there's a feeling out process here. They gotta feel each other out and you know kind of see what's going on. Hmm. But then like yeah, then Daenerys did a question like she's like Tyrion, did you, did you hear Sir Devos when like when uh, Sir Devos mentioned that like John died for his people, then he stopped talking. Hmm. She's gonna ask him about that. He'd be like, yeah, I kind of died once. And you know they have a lot of family history between. They have a lot of history between their families. So that makes things a bit complicated. But hey, new generations, okay? It's new generations. Just like John did to the um to the Karstarks and the Umpar. He's like, look, 
I will forgive what your parents previously did as long as you swear an oath to me or whatever. You're forgiven, whatever. Just swear your loyalty to me here now and everything, and it's all good. So John can look past the family history. He can look past what happened prior, okay? It's not Daenerys' fault her dad did all that. You know, just like those kids, you know? It's like, it's not their fault. Their, their parents and grandparents did all their shit they did, okay? And he gave them a second chance. But then again, with yeah, but then like I said, they got Daenerys and John. they gotta feel each other out. They're open to it, but they gotta feel each other out. I feel like Daenerys will come through and be like, you know what, John? We're just gonna be allies. We're, you're, neither of us are gonna bend the knee to each other. We're just gonna be cool. We're just gonna be cool. That's it. <sighs> and then Jamie and Cersei, like, fuck, dude. You know, and then R.I.P. Lady Olena. She went out like a goddamn queen. She went out like a goddamn savage. You know, and she was like, tell Cersei it was me. That was ruthless. That was ruthless. Sucks to see, but, you know, it's part of the show. End of an era. R.I.P. Sucks to see the Tyrells being defeated right there. <laughs> but, hey, Jamie had a good battle strategy. He learned from Rob. <sighs> You know what I realized too? Since Bran, okay, Bran's back at Winterfell now, which is lit. Um, now he's waiting for John to be like, yo, John, you're a Targaryen. I hope that's just like the first thing he says. Like, not even hey or hello. John's like, Bran, and then he's like, you're a Targaryen. That'd be kind of funny. But, like, dude, out of all the Stark kids, Rob is the only one that's dead. <laughs> like, like Sans is alive, Arya's alive, Bran's alive, John, well, we know John's not really a Stark son. He's a bastard, but like, Okay, well, whatever. Then Rob. Rob's dead. But, I mean, I mean, their parents are dead, which sucks, but, like, yeah. And then, yeah, Arya's on her way back to Winterfell, too. Like, holy shit, we're about to have a goddamn family reunion here pretty soon. Honestly, so far, Season 7, it's been really damn good. I've really enjoyed it. It's, it's a lot faster paced than the previous seasons, for sure. Like, I, I kind of wasn't expecting Jon to get the Dragonstone until, like, maybe season seven or eight maybe until like episode seven or eight maybe you know but then again there is only seven episodes in this season and then season eight there's only six episodes in season eight so it's like yeah they they kind of have to make it faster paced if they're only gonna have this many episodes in these two seasons like wait why like why is that why are they i don't know whatever but anyways, I can't wait to see what happens next. So comment down below what you thought about this episode down below in the comments. And if you liked the video, like the video. And thanks for watching.